Hello, 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 and welcome to Shine On, a Pink Floyd box set that some of you have been waiting for a long time for me to look at. They've been moaning and whinging and whinging and moaning about it last. I've opened the box. See, look, there's some bums on the cover. Shine On, Pink Floyd, bums. And inside is a lovely hardbound book now this is quality you're gonna like this sorry about the fluff and the, the mess it's been in my archive since the the day it was released in fact i traded in my mega drive my sega mega drive or sega genesis if you're in the us and a load of games so i could raise the money to buy this um hey i was always hustling back then um so there you go very very purple and pinky and purple but it's lovely uh, lovely piece of publishing very good uh, paper stock and they really went all out on the design for this one. Let me just, might just give me camera a little. Hey, that's better. You can get it. See a bit better now. Um, you got some really good Storm Thorgerson hypnosis type art in this book as well. So um, yeah, it's it's just quality compared to what we get these days. Um, you know, it's just a really nice box set, and it's something that I I really do enjoy. You've got a nice timeline there. You know, talking about the band and you know what was released, what happened, where, when, and how. Uh, illustrated with like a discography as well, and then each section you got like a chapter about each album uh, with the lyrics and and uh, you know the various credits because they're not in the CDs this time. And um, you got all these pictures that have been reused subsequently. And there you go. That's a that's for, I think that was taken from one of the tour books they brought out. And um, yeah, as you can see, the typography is quite interesting. Uh, we're into metal now. And, you know, it's just a, a really good looking piece of work. You know, <laughs> this is why I'm so grumpy about the recent releases is, um, you know, it, there was time and effort put into this, whereas I think uh, a lot of the stuff that was put out today was just done really quickly. And um, as you can see, there's some nice photography. There you got all the, all the lyrics and and um and that's uh that's nice there's a nice fan <laughs> and um yeah i mean it's uh it's very different to what we have today and it's just very very creative and um so now onto the the wish you were here section where you've got all the artwork and everything you've come to expect i bet you're all bored with seeing the same old imagery oh god that's a big old picture of ugly roger's face look he's smoking a fag and um, let's uh, go through, see. It's all clever stuff, you know. Wait, wait a minute, what's that? He's wearing that fucking flat cap again. You can see they've been reusing the same photographs year after year after year. And um, But yeah, I mean, there is some stuff. I mean, like that hypnosis design there that I don't think you get in the new, the new sets. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's all good stuff. And as you can imagine, back in, I think it was 91, 92 when this was released, there wasn't many like quality album box sets out at that time, so this was kind of unique at the time. And uh, yeah, it contains eight albums, I believe, uh, eight CDs or whatever. And um, yeah, I mean, look at that. Just some great photography there and the designs that they use for the wall stage show. And um, but yeah, it was worth trading in my my Mega Drive for, I believe. Um, again, it's one of those things you can sit you know on your lap with a cup of coffee, and just delve into and uh, and enjoy, uh, and you know, and of course, you know, go back to um, even momentary lapse of reason gets out sitting there. There you go. Uh, it seems such a long time ago. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is a Photoshop because they were photographed together and Richard Wright was added in at a later time. That's probably not even his body. They probably just superimposed his head on someone else. And you've got interviews with the band. You have interviews with Roger Waters and um, David Gilmore, which is more than you get these days. And um, But as you can see, a little, little uh, discography at the back. Everything looks nice. It's a quality product. And... Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's great. I still think it's great. And excuse the fluff. It's been in the archive for a very long time. So let's get the old uh, 
Let's get the old box back, shall we? Wait a minute. First of all, there's a bonus a bonus feature. My wife picked this up in a charity shop roughly around the same time I got the box set. It's um, a story of pop, and there's a piece in there about Pink Floyd. So I kind of keep it inside my Shine On box set for whatever reason. Um, but there you go. There's the band there, looking all handsome and dapper. Very, 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 very suave. And, um, but yeah, it's a little piece about them. And... Uh, you know, yeah, Peter Green, another fine guitarist, and um, and there's another there's another prog rock band that she one of the reasons. Look at that, that's a good picture of Peter Gabriel looking the Statue of Liberty. Never seen that one before. Never see that one reproduced. And um, and yeah, some really good pictures of the band from you know, Genesis. And there's Gabriel with his other Hamish beard there. And um, yes, that's I always keep that on my shine on box set. So let's go back to the box set. That was a nice diversion, wasn't it? So anyway, let's have a look what's underneath the uh, the box. There we go. Now, this comes with a bonus CD, which is uh, Pink Floyd, The Early Singles. I really like this because it compiles all those um, crazy tracks into one. So you've got you know, paint me, paint, Point Me to the Sky and Paint Box and Apples and Oranges, all those classic tracks that weren't hits. And there's some nice design there and, uh, and a lovely, lovely, lovely CD. And I, I really like that. Um, album. It's a really good album to listen to. It's one of my favourites. I know, silly, I know. And of course, there's the usual um, ephemera. This time it's postcards. We've got postcards of the actual um, sleeve itself with all the floating bums. Uh, momentary lapse of reason. God, it would take ages to, to make all those beds, wouldn't it? And um, what's here? There's uh, an old Joel scarf um, with these uh, wool. Um, uh, illustrations wandering off there. My mind's going. Pink Floyd's Animals over Battersea Power Station. Man on Fire, or was it a dodgy curry? We'll never know. And um, yeah, of course. Uh, and a big shout out to all the corny jokes. And I know you love them. Uh, the prism. Yeah, expectation is a prism. That's for the King Crimson fans. Uh, medal and source of all secrets and uh, I've I've carefully arranged them back so I can just put them back in the envelope with one deft movement off camera it's like I, I'm David Blaine crossed with David Copperfield and um, and this this is a little box that you build yourself to hold all your CDs in but I've never bothered to build it because like I'm an idiot and I don't know how it goes together um, but yeah it, it makes a kind of um, a box that you can put your CDs in but you've got a box already so why would you need another box if you've already got a box with your cds in oh too many questions too many questions but anyway let's check out what we've got here um so yeah source of secrets they've I like, I like what they've done here i know they've redesigned them these aren't um you know don't keep to the original artwork but what they've done is they've done something very specific you know, uh, compared to what they've done with the Discovery editions of the of the where they bastardised them there, they did something different, and I think it's really kind of classic. You know, very very classy what they've done, and uh, you know, I like. Okay, he uses triangles. I know the fucking triangles are back, but it's just a classy piece of design. You know, these have been designed and worked on, whereas what they've brought out today has just been bastardised. I'm going to say it again, bastardised. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's just a nice bit of design. <laughs> Keep going on about how nice the design is and how shiny everything is. I'm a bit like a jackdaw. I like the shiny, shiny. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it was so different for the time. I just remember when I, you know, opened it up. It was like, wow, it just looks so expensive. <laughs> yeah, you know, it looked like um, it was a really deluxe set. I think that's probably why I fell in love with it. Whereas today, everything looks just a little bit more cheapy, and you know, you don't. You know, but yeah, here we are, one with animals, and it's uh, yeah. The only problem is they don't really do the artwork justice, but you do get the booklet, you know, the big um, hardback book for that. So um, you can't really complain because there is a lot of uh, duplication in the old uh, uh, coffee table book. The only thing is the uh, the wall albums are split over two jewel cases rather than being put in a double jewel case. But am I being anal about that? I don't know you ask me they could have put an extra album in if they'd have uh, you know put the uh, the wall in a double slip case a uh, double jewel case and you know maybe we could have fit another LP but I don't know but yeah so 
there you go. I mean, it's all pretty, pretty clever stuff. It's a bit of a drag getting them out of the box when you want to play them, though. That's the only, the only downside. But if you line up all the spines, if you hold, line up all the CDs and match the spines up, it makes a little prism. You know, a little, uh, little uh, duplication of uh, the uh, dark side of the moon cover. But yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of triangles there for you. And um, and that's the Shine On box set. I mean, I don't know. It's um, it certainly is um, worth looking at. You know, I don't know if um, it's probably been made superfluous now by all these other box sets that have come out, but. You know, it's it's probably going to stay in my collection because you know it was a, it was a, it's a memory of a of a good time, uh, even though it was um, you know even I traded all all my stuff for it and I've put I'm putting all the box back wrong because I'm gibbering on here. That's it. That stuff goes at the bottom. Ephemera at the bottom, box at the top. Story of Pop next, Darren. That's it. And then your booklet on the top of that and your big coffee table book. There you go with all the fluff on. Really must put the Hoover over that. And my name is Ben Darren Lock, and I've been looking at the Pink Floyd Shine On box set. Uh, you know, prog on.